Hello, I'm Zardus, and let's play Planet Zoo. Welcome back to Zarzu. This will be episode 14 in the series, and we are going to start uh, playing as paused for a little bit to start out here, because I want to show you what I've done off camera. So we are over here in the Africa part of the zoo right now, and that is what I want to start working on. We're going to uh, talk about this area, and then we'll get a little bit of staff building set up. And then we're going to go kind of clockwise in here to go through the habitats. But uh, before we do that, I want to mention that I've been planning out where the train is going to go. And I've been picking out some train stations from the workshop. And we're going to get one here. And then I'll get the track in place. But we're going to build the train off camera. And then just show where it's going to, or like show it when it's done. I think it is going to take a lot of... Uh, trial and error on my part. I haven't done many trains, transport rides in uh, Planet Zoo yet, so it'll take some practice. But anyway, let's talk about what I've done off camera here. So first of all, the big building here, the reptile house, this is the Desert Reflections Reptile House by uh, uh, Chi Dick, I don't know, Ed's I DKIX. You can see it on the screen. But anyway, it's a pretty cool building. And uh, it has six different uh, exhibit things that we will add to in a moment. Oh, there's a waterfall in here too. I hadn't caught that before. Let's get the water back in. I had taken the water out. In fact, let me just kind of fix this a tiny bit more. There we go, that will work. So it has this little space for water in here, but because the building is saved as a building instead of a habitat, it didn't uh, change the terrain. So I had to guess how that would go. And then I came in and I added paths all around the whole thing. And then I might come back in and add more foliage in here. It is a little bit bare in some spots, but anyway, so that is this building. We'll come back in in a minute and fill the exhibits. Then we also have the, uh, let's see where, this one here, I believe. Yes, over here. This is the African Shop Collection by Anigmandra. So this one is pretty cool. It has several different shops in here. And I like how it just adds a little like village type feel here. And that really, I think, adds a little bit to the flavor for the area. Then over here we have Africa, restaurant and souvenirs. So we have a few things. Oh, you know what? I don't think this path connects here. Let's get this connected. Okay, so now. In here, we've got one thing there, and then we've got another one here, and another restroom there. And in general, uh, moving around weird. I guess that's all we have in there. Oh, and there, one more there. They're kind of in weird spots, but it adds a nice little feeling to that. Now, the rest of the buildings I have in here are just from the game itself. So like this is scenery, 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 and then a little building here. And I think they also just kind of add to filling this out. Now, over here, we have a bit of rocks that I've put in. Uh, we're going to get a hippo habitat here. So I wanted a couple of viewing points there. And then another one over here for the pygmy hippos. And then a bridge, a land bridge, over here to the other stuff or where the train station will be. And then I think like this is going to be the big safari area. So we'll get another like a safari ride on the other side here to enter this habitat here. Yeah. And then I guess that is all the safari there. I think. I don't know why I have this line here. Well, I'll have to look into that. But anyway, today we are going to get uh, at the very least, we're going to get, hopefully, this 
Habitat setup, which is AF14, and on my list of plans here, that is the Aardvark. And then over here, oh, clicking out of the wrong windows here. Okay, over here we have AF9, which is the Okapi habitat. And then, like I said, back here we have the hippos. And those are the ones I want to get started with. I, we might get the pygmies in too soon, but uh, let's go ahead and get staff set up though. So I have two spots designated for staff buildings. We have one here and one here. We're going to uh, get started. Actually, we'll fill them both to start here. Okay, so I really don't know what the issue was with the water here, but we've kind of revised how it was and it'll work fine for now, but it's a little disappointing. But anyway, we are going to now, uh, we have some staff buildings in here uh, and we have that over that way. We're gonna leave the ones out of there for now. Oh no, actually we're gonna get these set up too. Get a, a similar village in here that is going to serve a lot of these, although then we're going to have to get a path across. I mean, that's not going to be... Yeah, you know, we're going to do that. We'll get some here that will come here. We'll figure it out. We're going to get stuff down in here and go from there. Okay, that will all work. Now, what I wanted to do, I wanted to get all of that set up so that we can come in here and we can get a work zone created. So this is going to be called Africa. And I want to get all of the exhibits in there along with these buildings and all of the restaurants and things. And then we're gonna get the staff hired then we can unpause and work some more on, like, get started on the habitats themselves. Actually, we'll fill the exhibits first. Okay, so that is all of that. And then I believe we have some vendors in here that came with the buildings. I think that is all of them. So then we need to just come in and hire the rest of our staff.
Okay, so at some point I need to come back in and add more apparently or check why those people have high workloads. But we have the workers now, we can go ahead and unpause this. And we can get started on the Artvark habitat. So like I said, that is going to go in here and the guests can go through it. So we are going to real quick, oh, uh, facilities without power. Oh, yeah. We don't have any power over here. Okay, let's get some power. Pause that. And let's get some power. should work we do need to get a few support beams here real quick so let's just do that and then go for a bear there that'll work okay so now we have all of that in place we should have power now for all of that Oh, we missed one spot over here. Okay, we'll get one more power thing in there. This is really not ideal because it means that we have some guest things that are making people a little unhappy. We're like a little less attractive in here, but I'd rather have a little bit of, I mean, we definitely need to have power in there so we can go ahead and just have that in there. Then let's come down and add those onto the work zone. Now that should make everybody happy in this area. Still have multiple issues in, from the buildings here, but I think it's partly due to other stuff, but all right, Aardvark. So the guests are going to be able to walk through here. Let's go ahead and find out what size we need for Aardvark. We need grade two, 1.65 feet, not very tall. I'm gonna do wood logs as much as possible around here. Okay, then we're going to get guest aid here if we can. Perfect. And then we'll get a guest gate over here. And we need a guest gate over here. Then we need a regular habitat gate. Over here too, if we can fit one in there. Put that there, we'll move this tree. Like that. That will work. And then, so that doesn't need a path, but over here we need to grab this path down here. Disconnect. Okay, so that should all be working again. Be set up. Dangerous animal has escaped. Who has escaped? The dingo. How did you escape? Yeah, that's all fine. I mean, those are all known issues. 
don't understand how the dingo got out. But that's very interesting. Okay, uh, back to Africa. So now we can come in here and we're going to get some art art. But first we're going to come in here and call this the Aardvark Habitat. And add this to the work zone. Here we go. Okay, now let's come down and get some aardvarks. We want one male and one female. That's it. Okay, so they are on their way. We are going to come in here and we're going to get a shelter. Hopefully a small one in here. That will just be where the aardvark can hang out as they need to. And I think we didn't make any water available to them, so we're going to give them a water pipe here. This is going to be their little, like, hangout point. We'll also kind of put a few Richmond items spread around here. To encourage them to go elsewhere as well. We don't want them to have to be too close to the guests. But we'll get one of these over here. There, that should be good. So I don't know how long until they arrive, although you know we have a small problem here that this does not connect. So now they can get in here, and the other small problem is that their path... Okay, yep, staff can make their way over there. It's not ideal. We just had a spider die. Oh, we need to fill... Okay, while we're waiting on that, let's get these exhibits filled as well. So, exhibits. We have giant tiger land snail. Okay, then we have the Goliath Beetle going here. Okay. Then, uh, which way do we want to go? So we only have four to fill. Let's get these four. So we're going to get this one next. It's really the Goliath Frog. Okay, and then this one will be the Puff Adder. And that will be all of the exhibits. So we will have in this zoo, every single exhibit animal is now in the zoo, which is a pretty cool thing. Okay, so now we've got that and our art arc have arrived. Here he is. All right, what have we got? Habitat, terrain, and plants are wrong. Okay, we need right more grass. Okay, we're gonna try not to paint where the paths are because I have them as coarse sand for a good look there. Though there's too much sand then. What else can we get in here? I guess we want a lot of 
grass. Here, we will take that so we have just enough sand for the pathways and that looks so cool I think that is a really cool habitat let's come in here and we're going to check doesn't like some of the plants in here so we're gonna take them out then we'll go from there back in and add the ones that it does like okay so it needs more uh so it needs less coverage okay where did the hard part go there we go get rid of another big one uh yeah let's get rid of it's not like trees which is too bad because I really like having them. There, that might be better. Now, where is the aardvark? Too bad because it looks really cool here now. Did it walk into the building? Oh, that's funny. Okay, so you are happier now. And I think just all together, you are happy now. So that is good. And I think, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. So we got the aardvarts in, but that was about it. So off camera, I will work on the train uh, and I'll, I'll save these other habitats for a future episode. So anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.